for me, one way that I like to introduce mindfulness is through a greeting that I learned in Nepal, which is really simple, namaste. In fact, if you want to try it with me, namaste. What this means is, this is not the literal translation, but generally it means the goodness within me sees, recognizes the goodness within you. And what this does is it brings you into the present moment with another human being and allows you to see them clearly. So you don't see them based on their age or their appearance or their socioeconomic status, what they're doing. You see them just as another human being. The goodness in me sees, bows to, greets the goodness in you. For me, this greeting really captures the essence of mindfulness. Because the word mindfulness can be defined as seeing clearly. It's not so much about relaxation or some kind of mystical state. It's really about seeing clearly and knowing clearly what's arising in the present moment. What's here right now? The goodness within me sees the goodness within you. So how we do this, how we see clearly, is through paying attention. <coughs> Mindfulness can be defined as this awareness, this clear seeing awareness that arises out of intentionally paying attention in an open, accepting, and discerning way. If we're not able to sustain our attention, just like he said, we get a fuzzy picture. We don't see everything clearly. We see based on our conditioning, based on these very rapid um, categorizations. And so part of this practice is learning to slow down, focus our awareness into right, ha right here and now, in this moment. Husserl, who um, was a wonderful philosopher, he said, this awareness is a return to things themselves, not our ideas, and conceptualizations about what is, but actually what is, through our direct experience. And we have to know how to pay attention to have this. One of the qualities I love most is this idea of beginner's mind. And this is my son, Jackson. He's, he's four now, so he doesn't look exactly like this. But I love this photo because when I look at it, my heart opens first. <laughs> But also this sense of wonder and awe and curiosity of what an incredible world I live in moment by moment. And wow, what does it feel like to be alive right now? Not, oh, ho hum, you know, here's another moment of being alive or here's the breath. When I watch him interact with the world, it's incredible. And so this quality of beginner's mind, this is one of the attitudes we're trying to bring to our attention. What does it feel like to be in this body right now? Literally, right now, as you're sitting here listening. How does the body feel? And it's okay if it feels tired, or it feels bored, or it feels frustrated, or if it feels joyful. It's not a matter of having to feel good all the time, but being curious about how you actually feel. Four decades of research have shown significant effects on both psychological and physical health. And I, what I want to do is summarize some of the research and then talk about some of the newer research that I think is really interesting. In terms of medical benefits, mindfulness practice has been shown to um, increase clearing of psoriasis, a skin disorder. It's actually one of my favorite studies. They, they took patients who were receiving the traditional treatment of, for psoriasis, which is photochemotherapy, where you stand in kind of a telephone booth like um, structure and receive the photochemotherapy for the skin disorder. And what they did is they randomly assigned people to the traditional treatment or to receiving that treatment while practicing mindfulness and imagery and meditation exercises. And they found that those people in the meditation condition cleared 35% faster psoriasis than those in the other condition.